So, Miss Davis, obviously since we last talked, uh, an amazing turnaround. I mean, it wasn't looking too good, really, was it, last time we, we chatted? No, well, it's uh, about a month ago. And uh, obviously when it happened, it was looking very, very serious. And uh, when we chatted, uh, Fab was progressing slightly. But uh, since then, his recovery has just been exponential. It's been, literally been a miracle as far as we're concerned. And you were going over there just after we talked last time. Well, can you tell us what you... you yeah, well, I, w I went to see him at the hospital. And uh, of course, he was conscious then, but uh, still sedated somewhat. And uh, his father was with him when I went in. And uh, he saw me come in and he said, oh, hello, Mr. Davis. And uh, I had a, a little chat with him and uh, he was speaking in English and French. And uh, I thought, well, this is incredible. It's certainly not what I expected. Does he remember anything about it? Uh, he remembers the game, but he doesn't remember what really happened to him until he regained consciousness in hospital. Uh, the, the, when he did regain consciousness, um, because he was sedated, uh, he was still uh, wired up with the electrodes on his chest and, his, and tubes into his throat, through his neck. And uh, when he woke up, uh, he uh, tried to get the tubes out of his neck, in fact, and they stopped him doing it. And his girlfriend was there, and he squoze her hand, and he turned to his father and he said, did we win? <laughs> so you had no idea, he, you know, what had happened? He didn't know what had happened at all. And of course, I mean, the world's press literally were camped outside that. Oh, un unbelievable. I mean, the, um, the uh, outpouring of sympathy, not just from the football world, from, but from the world in general, has been absolutely fantastic. And I think it's brought a lot of people together. I mean, the football community has been terrific, Tottenham in particular, when the, the accident happened, Aston Villa, who was the next game etc. Uh, Blackburn Rovers uh, gave us the option of postponing the game or playing it, uh, which is tremendous gestures from everybody really. And just to give you an example of the kind of volumes that we've had to deal with, um, up to the end of last week the club had had 250 emails from Brazil alone. Never mind other countries in the world, that's just Brazil. I suppose people are still kind of surprised with all the checks you do with footballers for the medicals and that sort of thing, that nothing was ever picked up. Well, I mean, this is a, a, a rare situation. In fact, uh, they've not been able to find anything wrong with his heart, his brain or his liver, which are the three main organs that get affected by these kind of things. And uh, they do know what happened, but they don't know what caused it. And apparently there are um, 12 people a week in England who die alone of the same syndrome, that's 600 people a year just in England who die of the same syndrome which they don't know what causes it. The brain just stops signalling to the heart to tell it to keep pumping when obviously you go into cardiac arrest. And the headline in this particular case was he was dead as such. For yeah, 78 minutes he was dead. He died on the pitch and he was given two lots of CPR on the pitch by the medical teams and they were giving him motor mouth resuscitation all the time. Um, he got, I think it was 14 CPRs while he was in the ambulance because the ambu the, the, when we got to the hospital, the hospital came in the ambulance. They didn't take him into the hospital and they brought him back in the ambulance. Well, you've seen for yourself that he's on the mend. Will he ever play again? I mean, is that too early to say? Well, it's too early to say. I mean, uh, it's too early to say, will he really come back as a, a full human being? But at the moment, he looks to be that. And, you know, that's our mission at the moment, is to bring Fab back to being Fab himself. After that, uh, anything that can happen, really, because this has been an absolute miracle. The Knock-on effects from this have been quite interesting on the Isle of Man alone because the Craig Hart Foundation, um, who, who have checks on, on young people to check their hearts and everything, had a massive upswing. I don't know if you're aware of that. Here in the Isle of Man, they were having their regular um, meetings and, and meeting with people, and they had this huge extra amount of people that wanted to go and have a checkout. So in, in a strange way, there's a sort of good news that has come out of this. Yeah, I mean, it's not been just the Isle of Man. It's been in the UK, Europe and the world, in fact, that people have realised uh, that uh, you, you need to get these checks done. Unfortunately, uh, you don't pick this syndrome up. It's a very, very specialised case that they still need to do a lot of research on to find out what causes it, because it generally happens in young athletic people.
And in fact, you know, the week after there was a young guy playing rugby who died on the pitch. Last week there was a guy in uh, the second division of Italian football who dropped dead on the pitch. And it's happening all the time. It's just that this incident occurred in the public view, which made it much more publicised and, and brought home to everybody. As you say, the whole thing spread so much further out than just the football fraternity, hasn't it? I mean, the sort of outpouring of, of emotions for, for him and, and the well wishes he was getting from everybody. Yeah. Is it still going on? Are you still feeling it? Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he was a, a young, well-known athletic guy and a tragic event happened to him, which uh, I suppose brings it home to people more than just an ordinary guy in the street who... Uh, has a heart attack, which you never hear about, in fact, but this one you watched happening on live TV. So are you seeing him again shortly? or? Yeah, you? yeah, well, he's back home now. Uh, he, he lives uh, near Bolton, and uh, I'll be seeing him, but we're hoping that before the end of the season he'll put an appearance in at one of our games. We just thought we've secured our place in the Premier League before, we, before he comes. We don't want him having another heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.